Hi, my name is Chris Kuzmi. I am a longtime member and current president of the New York City Home Brewers Guild. Been home brewing since about 2001, and I love it. I'm a crazy addicted to it, and I'm happy to share it with you today. I'm also part of the New York City Degustation Advisory Team, which I formed with my partner Mary Izet, nycdat.com, and I'll be showing you how to homebrew today. Cheers. So we just finished our boil and we're about to cool. I suggest you thought about this before <clears throat> actually getting to the cooling part. But here is a head for a, a, basically a faucet head that we're going to replace this head on so that we can attach our wort chiller. This is a wort chiller. Basically it's copper tubing that goes in there. Copper is a great transducer for temperature. And what we're going to do is we're going to run cold water into the beer or through the copper tube and back out. And it's going to come out hot, go in cold. But this, it'll change your whatever faucet size you have uh, to a fitting that will be the size of a hose fitting, which is perfect for our needs. Mind you, we will have done this ahead of time because we're in crunch time and we're trying to do this as fast as possible. Okay, cold water in. Hot water out. So we're trying to get our beer down to 65 degrees, which is a great pitching temperature uh, for our yeast. But we want to pitch under the fermentating or the fermentation temperature that is our ultimate goal. And at this, in this instance, for this brown porter, I would like to ferment at, a, at 68 degrees. And so we're going to wait till we get down to 65. So we have our thermometer over here, and we are cooling it down as fast as possible. Sometimes to speed up this process, I will take either a spoon or my sterilized uh, mash paddle, and I will basically start a whirlpool. This whirlpool is also important because what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all those hop solids and go to the middle of the, the, middle of the kettle, um, creating a sort of mound. It's not only is it increasing the amount of beer that gets in contact, or the wort that gets in contact with my, with my copper chiller, but it's helping get the little solids to the middle so that when I rack from here into my fermenter, I'm gonna be racking from the side and hopefully leaving a lot of that sediment behind, which we are now done with.